opens up in your territorial waters, sticks flags in your country, and claims it on bark, well, that's an act of war and oppression. All right? What can't people understand about this country's history? The problem is, it's a state of denial. People can't deal with reality in this country. That's why we can't move on, people. That's why we're sick. That's why our country's sick. You need to heal it. And you do that via a treaty process. There's no other way to do it. You need to recognise the precedent law of this land and respect it. It's at your own peril not to respect the law of this land. Australia's an invaded country. Australia's not the real name for the country. What we have here is boat law. Admiralty law, the, the law of the sea. And who were the first people? Who were the first boat people? Who was the first boat people? Time to sail off that boat. Who was the first boat people? Into the customs of this country. The British. That's right. Come through the customs, people. It's not all that bad as they say. We've got a civilised, organised society here. A humane law. A sustainable one. You know, in the last 200 years, not only have our people been brutally raped, butchered, butchered, women and children and men. That's what this country is based on. It's not only the people, it's also the land. And that's what it's really all about. Greed. This whole thing's motivated by greed. Power, control and global domination. All coming out of Britain. The British Empire. Who had designs on controlling the whole earth. Global domination. Well, this is where it ends, people. We make it end. This is a facade. They're weak, these people, who call themselves the Australian government. They're liars. They're hypocrites. And they're racist in the extreme. We want our children to grow up in a, a decent society, don't we? Well, it's about time people started dealing with the original people in a real way. You know, we're human beings. Right? Yeah. And we want our human rights recognised, right? Yes. yes. I think that everybody's human rights hinges on this issue. For me, all struggles are about human rights. It's time we united this and step up to this lying racist regime here. Yeah. yeah. That might have been Arab Spring, but let's have Black Autumn here. Let's make it real, people. You know, we've got just cause. We've got legal, sound, legal, a sound legal position to struggle against this evil system here. Now, why is it that such a small group of people in this country own 75 or even more of the wealth? That's not why, the way that black fellas operate. Didn't we teach us anything about sharing and caring? Well, we obviously did because people have given up their day today to come and share it with us. I want to thank you all for that. I want to ask Adam. He's only got a short amount of time to spend with us. He's got to go somewhere else. So I'd like him to say a few words.